Salutations, Imperial Citizens and Battle Brothers. It's Brother Tobias, and this is part 3 of the March for Firebug. And this one will be a bit shorter and mostly unscripted because my ride is leaving in two hours. So I have to just mash this little video together for you and explain what's gonna happen before I return on Sunday. Hopefully victorious, possibly defeated, but we will see. So first let's talk about the list. I decided to go with the modified John Lennon list for multiple reasons. Reason number one, if we look at the army distribution for Firebug, we have a lot of Space Marines, a lot of Necrons, and a lot of Custodes. Necrons and Custodes are pretty difficult matchups, and Aggressors are pretty bad into both of these armies. So I would rather have the Eradicators to try and get my Melter damage up and get somehow past the Catan and the Custodian Guard. Or the Wardens, rather, because the Wardens are the problem. We have some Death Guard here, and I think Death Guard is actually a really good matchup. I have to watch out for indirect fire from the Plague Burst Mortars, Battle Shocking the Centurions, but other than that... Honestly, I, I like my chances. Second reason is the layout, right here. Four of my six games will be played on one of these two layouts, randomly. And the first layout is incredibly difficult for for movement. It is pretty difficult to draw a line of sight from long-ranged fire through any of these ruins. Right here there are overlapping bases blocking each other in the line of sight, which is terrifying to me. So the Centurions will probably be worse on this layout, but there is a little spot in the bottom left where you can stand on the large ruin on the bottom left and look through the base, if you're completely on it, into the center of the table. Which is probably what the Centurions will be doing before they possibly move into the small center ruin directly on the objective marker on either the left or right side and then they have a clear light, a line of sight to the center. However, the reason why I think my army is not the worst in this layout is because I play an exclusively infantry army. I can use my scouts to move block chunky vehicles like land raiders, knights and a land fortress or some or a monolith to just not get past any of the spots where it has to go past to. And I like that. That's a really really good thing in my opinion. Now, with that said, that's it told you it was going to be short, I will report back after the event is over, talk about my games, share some of the pictures I made, and that's it. Courage and honor, Battle Brothers, we march for McCrack. <laughs>